channel today i'm going to be starting yet another reading vlog and this one i'm really excited for because i'm starting my spooky fall reading whatever you want to call it by doing like pre-fall reading if that makes sense i literally made a, a little tbr for this weekend so yes i'm very excited it is currently friday september 2nd it is a very rainy morning here i even opened the window i don't even i don't know if you can hear it or not but it is raining I love it. Having such a good time. So I thought this would be like a perfect start to a little weekend reading vlog, which I am very excited for. Also really excited. It's a long weekend because of Labor Day and then I don't have classes on Tuesday anyway. So I have four days off, which I'm very excited about. So hopefully I can get through some of these books. We'll see. Let's just like talk through the TBR. This may be a little ambitious, but um, we'll just, we'll see how it goes, you know? The first thing that I absolutely think I'm gonna be able to read or reread, that is, is The X Hex by Erin Sterling. I read this book for the first time. Well, I mean, I think it came out last year, but I read this book last year. I loved it. It's such a fun, witchy romance. And the second like companion book in the series is coming out in September. And I really just want to like reread this one before I read that one because the second one follows a character that I literally remember nothing about, so kind of an issue um so i'm just gonna get like reacquainted with it it's also really short this is like 300 pages so yeah i'm just i'm really excited because i had such a good time reading it the first time so yeah this is the one that like i will i will be finishing next up we have the wicked deep by shay earnshaw i really don't know too much about this book other than the fact that it is also rather short it's also like 300 pages and it follows think some witches they get executed by a town and now there's a curse on said town so i love stories like that i think this one also takes place like in the summer so i feel like it's a good pick for like pre-fall and then the last like proper novel i have is cemetery boys by aiden thomas i have just seen so many people love this book and i think it takes place in a cemetery so there's pre-fall i'm also just really excited to read this one so that also will be a good time and then i also have a couple of graphic novels that I also might read. First up, Creepy Cat Volume 2, I believe. Um, it's really short. I should definitely be able to finish this. These are just a fun time, kind of. Like, they're okay. I like, um, I like all the cats, obviously. Then I also have another Junji Ito, and that is Uzumaki. I think this is, yeah, this is the one with like the spirals. I'm gonna fall into a whirlpool of terror. The general vibe is like, kind of fall but like not really but like it is you know what i'm saying like they're kind of spooky but like they're not like properly spooky you know i think you i think you get what i'm saying okay so um yeah that's kind of like my tbr for this weekend i think i'm also gonna do a little bit of decorating for fall even though i'm kind of always decorated for fall but i'm gonna do just a little bit more and um yeah i feel like is that all i have to say so it's like 1103 so I should probably go to campus, unfortunately. But when I get back, I think I'm going to start off with the X-Hex. Because I'm, I'm just so excited to read this again. Like, I just... Because I'm just so excited to read this again. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to start off with it. I'm going to be annotating it this time. It's just going to be really fun. So, hope you guys enjoy the vlog. I hope you're excited for the start of my spooky videos for the year. And, um, yes, we're going to get into it.
later, I went to class earlier and I got rained on so my bangs are looking a little funky, but we're just not gonna think about it right now because I just started the XX. I'm literally on page like nine, maybe, which is the end of like the prologue and I'm already having such a good time. Oh, I need a bookmark. Which bookmark are we thinking? Honestly, I'm gonna use this Akatar bookmark because the love interest's name in this book is Reese. So it's literally just so fun. Like the amount of entertainment and just like joy that this book brings me is unparalleled. I've never had like, I mean, I'm just kind of like assuming this based on like last year's reading experience. I've never had so much fun reading a romance book. It's just so funny. I really like the main characters. The romance is cute. I feel like this would literally be like the perfect Halloween rom-com. Like please somebody adapt this into a movie. It would actually be perfect. One of my only complaints about this book is that it's so short, it's literally only 300 pages and I really hope that the next book that comes out like in this kind of series is a little bit longer. Yes, the first nine pages are already so fun. Maybe I should like tell you what the setup for this book is. It's like a pretty basic rom-com, but there it's witches. I feel like it's the introduction of like kind of a magical atmosphere that makes me like this more than like a typical contemporary romance, even though this does lean more contemporary romance. So this follows our main character, Vivi, and in the prologue, it's like nine years before like the rest of the events of this book take place. So she's 19 and she just broke up with her boyfriend, Reese Penhollow, who told her just like while they were casually chilling one day that he's actually betrothed. Um, and he has to like go back to Wales to fix that and she's like And you didn't think they mentioned this before and it's it is ridiculous honestly, but that's what makes it fun So then she's with her friend um, or is it her cousin? I think it's her cousin Gwen who is I think the main character of like the, the next book that's coming out So I'm gonna like try and focus more on her this time as well, but they curse him while they're drunk. And that's why the tagline of this book is never mix vodka with witchcraft. And it goes from there. And they're like, oh my god, there's like no way we actually cursed him. But, you know, actually, I do not remember if they actually ended up cursing him or not, to be honest. It's not, it's not just like a good day. It's a Friday afternoon. My classes are done. It's a four day weekend. And I'm rereading one of my favorite books. And I went to Sonic earlier, so it just keeps getting better. I do want to read like a decent chunk of this today, but I don't think I want to finish it today just because I don't want to like rush through it. Although I do plan to like finish it this weekend. So I just talked a lot about this book. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna go read some more and yeah. It's like 5.40 now-ish maybe, and I've made a little bit of progress in the XX. Still having a great time. Like honestly, if you just want a good, fun Halloween rom-com, literally look no further. I've gotten to the point where our main characters have connected again. I think I'm gonna try and make it to like page 100 tonight maybe. I feel like that would be a good place to stop. And then I might pick up one of these graphic novels. I don't know which one though. I also had on this list um, on the very bottom it says finish death note in all caps because I've been in the middle of the black edition of death note for like a Year and a half probably the black editions are made up of like two volumes of death note And I've read the first one twice because I tried to read like the volume Like the bind up of the two twice and I've only ever made it to the first one and for some reason I just like keep stopping in the middle of it. So goal today tonight, maybe is to finish Death Note. I think this is just a sign that I should stop picking up volumes of Death Note because I've seen the anime like three times, so I don't need to like read it. And I just need to finish that one so I can get it off my physical TBR and be done with it. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, I, I guess that's my plan for tonight is to read a little bit more of the XX, finish Death Note, and then I think in a little bit, I'm gonna go out and get some dinner. I might go get like some Chinese food maybe, and then, I think I'm gonna start um, re-watching Over the Garden Wall. I've seen it a couple times. I think I might just watch like a couple episodes because I want to watch something 
fall-ish. But I don't want to watch anything like scary and I don't want anything that's like too much of a commitment. And they're like 15 minute episodes. So I might watch a couple of those while I eat dinner and then I will get back into reading. So anyway, those are my plans for tonight. I will update you later if I have anything to update you on. Or maybe I'll see you tomorrow. Who knows? Saturday afternoon and I have quite a few things to update you on actually. Which one should I go for first? I feel like I have three things. I'm just gonna go for the thing that I'm most excited about for first. I've been aware that these are a thing for like a week. Maybe I saw it on like Instagram and instantly I was like I need that right now and I noticed this morning that Michaels had them in stock and I was like okay impromptu trip to Michaels time because look at this ghost bowl. It's so cute. It's like, I just call it more of like a little trinket dish type of thing because it's rather shallow. But that's perfect because I can switch out my current like trinket dish type thing that I have in my bathroom that holds all of like my jewelry. So I can switch it to this one for the season and I'm so excited about it. He's just so cute. All right, number two on my list of things to update you on, I have some book mail, which I already opened the package because I am impatient, but... Really excited about all of these. First of all, I got volume one of Tokyo Ghoul, which I'm so excited about. And also I'm not really excited that I had to buy it because originally I was gonna borrow it from the library, but because it's the first book in this like rather popular series, I can't get it from the library by the time that I am gonna film the video that I wanna film for this series. So I just decided like, buy it and it's also like the first one in the series so I'm not like too mad about the fact that I like will only be owning this one because if it was like the sixth one in the series that might be kind of like weird you know but like since it's the first one I don't know like in the end does it really matter no but that makes sense in my mind so volume one of Tokyo Ghoul I'm really excited to jump into this series I've just heard so many good things and I really hope I love it because my plan is to just binge the entire series and like a little 24 hour readathon type of thing. If I end up hating it, you will not be seeing that video, but I can't imagine I will. I think it's gonna be really fun. And then the other thing that I bought, which I think I'm even more excited about is a box set of Daughter of Smoke and Bone. I've already taken all three out of these because I really wanted to look at the covers because the covers are stunning. I read Strange the Dreamer and Muse of Nightmares by Lainey Taylor last month. So I was like, absolutely, I need to pick up the other series that she has. So I love the neon on the black background. I just love them so much. So here's the first one, Daughter Smoke and Bone. Then we have, I think the second one is Days of Blood and Starlight, which I love the green and blue. And then lastly, we have Dreams of Gods and Monsters, which is a really long book. Like I was kind of shocked when I saw how thick this was, but hopefully it's really good. And I'll be really glad that it's so thick. So there's like my mini book haul of things that I have finally bought now that my book buying ban is over. And then I have my reading update. First of all, the thing that I'm super happy about is the fact that I finally finished the third volume of Death Note, the Black Edition. I've literally been reading it, I think I told you this yesterday, for a year and a half. And it's just been like on my mind. Every time I look at it, I'm like, I should just pick that up and read it. It's manga. Why don't I just like do it? It won't take me very long. But each time I'm like, Oh, I'll get it later in my friends. It was finally later and it's finally done. I don't think I'm going to continue to pick up volumes of this. Even though I love these black editions, I love the feeling of the covers. I love the contrasting white and the black sprayed pages. It's stunning, honestly. I just don't think I have a desire to read this series anymore. I really enjoy it, but I feel like if I want to like revisit it, I'll just go watch the anime, you know? So yeah, it was good. Um, I'm just glad it's over. Also, Misa annoys the hell out of me. So I really just couldn't take it. But, um, 
I'm just so glad it's over. Like, I'm really happy that it's done. Next up, I made some progress in the X Hex by Erin Sterling. I'm up to page 110. And literally, it's just so good. I always, like, it's, I won't say any more about it though. And then, also, on my walk this morning, which was really lovely, honestly, like, such a good walk. Um, I started the audiobook for Cemetery Boys by Aiden Thomas. I'm up to page, like, 30-something. I already really like our main character, Yadriel, and hearing the things that he has gone through and how, you know, his family is not very accepting of him just makes me so sad. And then also the part where he was talking about how his mom was one of the only people who, like, truly accepted him for who he was. I was like... I might cry. <laughs> I don't know. Um, lots of emotions, but I just think it's gonna be such a good read. So excited that I finally picked it up. This has been like on my radar for a long time. So when I saw it in the library, I was like, yeah, yeah, let's do it. So um, also I really love the setting of this book because it's set in a cemetery, which I'm always down for things set in cemeteries. So now that I've updated you guys on all that there is to be updated on, let's talk plans for the rest of the day. First of all, I really need to eat lunch. It's like 2.30 and I'm starving, so I should go do that. And then I think while I eat lunch, I'm going to watch a movie just because I want to watch like a fall movie. It's like really sunny outside and I'm not into it. So I'm thinking I'm going to like draw the blinds. So it feels like it's a gloomy day and I'm going to watch Corpse Bride. And then I think I might also do a little bit of decorating for fall Halloween. Let's just like, what do we even have? Hang on, this is my pumpkin of Halloween decorations. I hope you want to see my Halloween decorations because if you don't, then you might be very bored. I think I'm just gonna set these around the apartment. I thought there was another one. Maybe it's just the two of them. Oh well, I have these really cute mini jack-o'-lanterns and I love them. They're, they're just so small. I have these jack-o'-lantern lights, which are cute. I think the battery still works, maybe. Oh no, oh no. I just realized this thing has been set to the on position this whole time so clearly they don't work anymore so that's cool <laughs> i also have this like random string of candy corn might find something to do with those i have these pumpkin toasters which are really cute big fan and then i just have like these two pumpkins i think that's all the halloween decor that i have right now like the rest of it is up so eat lunch while watching corpse ride decorate and then i'm going to jump back in to the xx which i'm so excited about so yes to watch the vampire diaries on netflix i know it's literally i think it's going to hbo max which i literally have but like it's my roommate's hbo max so this is like it's not that sad but like also at the same time it is sad um time to stop being dramatic actually it is time to be dramatic i love this book um i think i've read how many pages like 40 pages of the xx and i feel like the only update that i have to give you guys is that it's great they went to a library there was a ghost i mean what more spooky things could you want they made out. It's a great romance book. So now I'm just like super excited to do some some more reading or maybe just watch some more of The Vampire Diaries. I might eat dinner here in a moment and then maybe I'll read Creepy Cat. So maybe I'll read Creepy Cat first because it'll probably take me like half an hour if that honestly there's like no words on the page so that's kind of the plan for tonight um aka there is no plan so let's go. <laughs> And this series is literally like 
so weird, but honestly, in the best way possible. I feel like I never really know what's coming next, and it's kind of fun that way. There's like a flying cat, there's a little vampire moment in this one too, and it's all just so strange. But I love these, like I just think they're so fun and they're also just like really quick reads, so why not, you know? It was really fun, like this always just puts me in such a good mood, so there's another book. Anyway, I think now I'm gonna eat dinner. I'm gonna read some more of the XX and then I might do some journaling later. Haven't decided yet. Definitely will let you know though. So. It is Sunday more well, okay. It's Sunday afternoon because it's almost like two But I have a couple of things to actually unbox for you Which I'm very excited about because I have the August Illumicrate Which I will show you in a second And then I have these other packages like, I think I know what's in these but I'm not 100% sure But I do believe they're kind of fall themed But I think they're jewelry items that I ordered off of eBay So we're just gonna like open them and see I thought that could be fun Aha! So excited about this. All right, this is the iconic Vampire Diaries necklace. And does it open? Wow. I don't know. I'm going to do a um, reading the Vampire Diaries, like first book in the series. And I was like, let's buy some fun little jewelry for it, you know? And <laughs> am I Elena Gilbert now? God, I really hope not. And then as for this, I don't remember what this is. It says it's a ring, but I didn't order a ring. So um, it is, oh my God. God, yes, I'm so, I've been waiting for these for like three months. And these are definitely not rings, which is what was throwing me off. But these are some earrings. I was looking for bat-shaped jewelry on eBay one day and I saw these for like $2. And they're little bat like hoops. Please, I will be wearing these in this video at some point. It's time for the August Illumicrate unboxing. Let's just get into it. I'm so I'm so excited for this box. The theme for August is knowledge is power. And I do believe Babel by R.F. Kuang. Oh, I do not want to look at that yet. R.F. Kuang is in this box, which I'm really excited to see what Illumicrate. Oh, I already see fun things. I see so many fun things. I know there's like also, I think something bunny inspired, uh, Bunny by Mona Awad, which I'm really excited about. So we're just gonna like get into it. You know what I'm saying? First of all, what is this? I don't know. Is this one of those like pencil cases that like fold down? Like, do you know what I'm talking about? Okay, this is not like a good way to display it, but you like can do this to it and it like becomes like a cup. But then when you pull it up, it like becomes a pencil case. It says knowledge is carnage. You can't have it without sacrifice. So is that, I love the pattern on it. The black and white with the swords, always down for that. And already off to a really good start because I'm, I'm really excited about this. I love a good pencil case. Oh, it's inspired by the Atlas 6. I have not read the Atlas 6, but good design. Next up, you're joking. It's a bunny pin. I'm so excited. Oh my God. It's literally so cute. Look at the bunnies. Oh, with the pink and the black. And it says smut salon on it. Oh my God. I'm definitely putting this on my annotation pencil case ASAP. It's adorable. This next thing I've, I've had my eye on ever since I opened the box because it's literally so pretty. I think this is a reading journal, but look at the foiling on it. It's literally stunning. I mean, wow, it's kind of cute. Oh, we have character art throughout the reading journal. Oh, they have a vicious print. Look at Eli and whatever his name, Victor. That's right, Eli and Victor. I never thought about that book being Dark Academia, but I guess it is. It like really is, huh? That's really cool. The design on this is actually so gorgeous. 
and I'm obsessed with it, frankly. Anyway, we have some bookmarks here. I don't know who any of these people are, but oh, they're characters from Babel. Okay, that's probably why I do not know who these people are. However, I do see we have a stamp set, the Illumicraft stamp set. This little book, like, stack right here is so cute and this is inspired by a lesson in vengeance by victoria lee so this comes with a set of rubber stamps and a stamp block which i'm love some good stamps i don't use oh these are cute oh those are cute hold on these are like literally my vibe i wow and then this is the stamp block i'm gonna have to figure out like how to use this because I, I don't think i've ever used stamps in like this form but look at these stamps this love it this also love it the is this the planchette i think maybe the book everything on this is so cute oh they even have the little book stack i could i'm literally like just gonna sit here and point to all of these and be like oh my god i love them this moon right here is just like yes i will be putting this on like everything now honestly honestly lumicrate's really knocking it out of the park this month and um it's like i've loved so all of these things so let's take a look at the book no wait does this have a slip case on it honestly like the artwork for babel is stunning i've seen this before and i loved it just this tower and it says babel down the spine honestly like i'm just gonna have to set this slip case out somewhere because it's so pretty but okay i've definitely like seen the book already on instagram but it's still in person wow okay anyway um here's like the the it's a naked book, which is really cool. And you have like this, oh, it's so cool. And then the spine is like kind of the same. And then we have black sprayed pages. I'm always a big fan of black sprayed pages. And then on like the pages on this side, I actually can't read that backwards. It says an act of translation is always an act of betrayal. Guys, <laughs> everything, like just the vibe of this box has been immaculate. Honestly, I think this has to be my favorite box that I've gotten so far. So that's so fun. Yeah, I didn't, I don't think I said this before, but I'm actually a rep for Illumicrate. So if you want 5% off of a three to six month subscription, you can use my code KD5 at checkout. I think these next couple boxes, like for like the, the fall months, I think they're just gonna be like so good. So I'm so excited for September and October's boxes. Yes, and if you wanna know, where is it? Here we go. Um, here's the theme for September. It's called Book Devourers and the book, like the description of it literally sounds so interesting. I've never heard of anything like it before and I'm really excited for that one. Maybe I should go through and like tell you who did these things. Okay, so first up, like I said, pencil case is from the Atlas 6 designed by Janine LaCour. I'm so excited to start using this one. The stamp set, which I love so much, is designed by Anna Veiling and it is inspired by Lesson in Vengeance by Victoria Lee, which I really want to read. Like, I think I might enjoy that book. I don't know. I think it sounds fun. The bunny pin, which I, this has to be like my favorite thing. It's just so cute. Is designed by Marta. The Babel bookmark set is done by Merwild. The reading journal is designed by Madeline Olishner. And the artwork is done by Dri Gomez. So it's so gorgeous. I'm just like, I need to do something with this. I will be doing something with this because I love the cover of it so much. So, oh, I just did a lot of talking. And the sad thing is the talking isn't over because I have reading updates for you. So there's the Illumicrate box. That was freaking sick. Anyway, reading updates. Yes, I do have a couple of reading updates for you. First of all, I read some more of Cemetery Boys this morning. I am up to page... 114. They have introduced this other character who is a ghost, which I love it when there's like a ghost character in any book. And overall, it's just so fun. Like just, it's a really good time so far. I'm really excited to see where the story goes. So yeah, this is going really well. And then I also made a lot of progress in the X-Hex. I'm up to page 226. And I'm honestly so sad because I only have like 75 pages left. This book is so short. <laughs> like, it makes me so sad that this book is so short, but again, I'm having the best time. I love all of like, I don't know if I necessarily call them like side quests, but they're kind of like side quests in this book because at one point they went to like a library, they just went to like a haunted house. Good spooky romance vibes, it's so good. As for plans for the rest of the day, um, kind of the same as yesterday. Read some more of Cemetery Boys, read some more of the XX, probably finish the XX actually, so I'm... Um, I'll get to that later. Also, this morning I did a couple of things. I put those bats up, which like I love them. Honestly, I just think they're so cute. Um, a couple have already fallen, but we won't talk about that. And yeah, I feel like that's all I have to. That's all I have to say. So <laughs> I'm gonna go. I feel like this, this update has been rather 
yeah, you know, <laughs> so yeah. Okay, no, that's a lie. I read some this morning, but like this afternoon, I've been working on some homework and my classes. Specifically, heat transfer is already kicking my ass, but it's fine because I'm done with that for now. I'm not gonna think about it. Just gonna chill for the rest of the night because that's what I deserve. So I started off by making this spread, which I'm super excited about. This is my fall to watch spread. Or I guess I did put books on here too. I guess that doesn't really make much sense, but at the same time, you're like technically watching something while you read, so we're just gonna go with it. But I wrote down some movies that I wanna watch, TV shows, all that stuff, because I feel like last fall, I did not watch enough things that were spooky. You know what I'm saying? Hopefully, I can get to some of these, which I'm really excited about. Here are the movies. Tell me if any of these are also things that you wanna watch this season, because I'm super excited about all of them. I went through a list of like, spooky Disney Channel original movies last night, and I was like, I like vaguely remember all of these but not well enough, so I wanna rewatch some of them. And then I also have like the classics, all of the Scream movies I love. I think Scream 5 also came out a little while ago, so maybe I should put that on the list, but. Got the classics like Twilight, Halloween Town. Oh, I can mark off Corpse Bride, because I watched that yesterday. Nice. Honestly, I really just put it on the list so I could mark it off the list, so um, it's fine. Nightmare Before Christmas, yes, obviously. Um, and then for TV shows, sorry, I just like keep talking about this, but like I'm really excited about it. Currently in the middle of a rewatch of The Vampire Diaries, although I'm always in the middle of a rewatch of The Vampire Diaries. My goal is like to watch seasons one to three this season. I always put it all while I'm doing homework and it's just like the best vibes. Um, Over the Garden Wall, which I also started, which will take me like no time at all. Scream Queens is like the worst show ever, but it's so funny. Me and some of my friends have watched it together the last two years and it's always such a good time. It's so bad though. And then also Sabrina the Teenage Witch, which I'm also in the middle of a rewatch of. I absolutely love that TV show. Perfect 90s vibes. I, I love it so much. It's so good. Also, I use these really cute stickers that I got from like a scrapbook shop, which I showed you guys in my last vlog and they're so cute. And this one's my absolute favorite. Look at these ghosts and the moon. If I had like 50 of these stickers, I would be like set for life. Like I'd be so content. I, I just love the spread. I can't wait to, you know, go through and tick off the boxes. In fact, what a lovely subway. So what? S what? Subway? Segway? Because tonight, I think, like I said, I'm just gonna chill. Definitely gonna do some more reading. I wanna- oh, so far away. I wanna finish The X-Hex, but then I'm going to watch one of these movies. I'm definitely thinking Practical Magic. I read the book um, in April, I think, and I really loved the book, and I've heard that that movie just has like the best fall vibes, and I just think it's gonna be such a good time. I loved the book, so hopefully I love the movie. Anyway, I've been talking for way too long, about like nothing, so I'm so sorry. But it's movie time, it's oatmeal time. Yes.
right, everybody, it is much later. It's like six-ish now on Monday. And honestly, my reading at the park earlier was so nice. I saw so many trees like starting to turn and the weather was so nice and it just felt like fall and it was perfect, honestly. And reading the Cemetery Boys like in that weather, immaculate, honestly. But I do have a couple of reading updates. So first of all, unfortunately, I finished the X Hacks, definitely getting a five out of five stars on the reread. Honestly, it was just so much fun. It's not like a perfect book by any means. I just have the best time reading it, reading about the relationship, and it's just literally so fun. And I'm so excited for The Kiss Curse, which I believe comes out on September 20th, so later this month. It follows Gwen, and I, oh, my camera's gonna die. Why? Um, It follows Gwen. I love Gwen, so I'm really excited to see a book like about her, but my camera's gonna die. So I'll update you on Cemetery Boys later, I guess. I only read two chapters anyway, so like what's there to update on? It was, it was a good two chapters though. It keeps flashing, hasn't died yet though. But I know the second I start- Hi. <laughs> Hello. I am working on redesigning my Etsy thank you cards. You can't even see it, gross. Anyways, they're cute and you should go support my Etsy. Absolutely. Um, that's my promotion because Katie always promotes my Etsy and I feel bad. Like I feel like I owe her some form of compensation for all this promotion. Being your so friend is compensation enough. Oh my god. <laughs> screaming. Hello vlog. I hope you're out. Cat. <laughs> I hope you're doing well. I clearly am not. <laughs> no, you're doing great. <laughs> that hurt. Hello everybody, it is a couple of days later and I wanted to wait to end this vlog because I have something so exciting and I just wanted to share this moment with you guys because I'm just like, wow. Okay, so um, I have been, I guess these have my address on both sides, but I have packages, like my first ARCs that I've ever been approved for and I'm just, like I'm so excited. So we're just gonna hop into it with this one. Ah. Okay, so this one is not an arc. I think this might just be a finished copy, but <laughs> this book comes out on September 20th. I believe that is correct. Yes, September 20th. And it is currently September 9th, I think. So I got an early copy of The Kiss Curse by Erin Sterling. And, you know, I've been raving about the X-Hex in this video because I did a reread. I don't know why I'm telling you this, you know this, but now I have both. And I'm so excited. I have been literally like anticipating this. Well, not since I read this because I didn't know there was gonna be a second one, but I've been thinking about this for, oh, I'm so excited. So yes, this follows Gwen and I, how many times can I say I'm excited? I don't know, but I'm just so excited. So um, yes, I just think this is gonna be so fun. There's that one. And then they also said they were gonna send me another one, which I've also been very interested in so here we go oh i love the cover for this one okay so this is angelica frankenstein makes her match by sally thorne who is the author of the hating game but when i heard that this was like a thing i was like i need it give it to me now but i think this one kind of i believe this one came out a few days ago it did come out on the 6th so look at this cover i'm just so excited um, I actually don't really know what this book is about, to be honest, but I just knew that I was going to be into it because, like, spooky romance is apparently, like, I need to read more of it just because I love the, the X-Hex so much. I feel like it could be a subgenre that I just absolutely love, so. Oh, okay, this last line is just so good. Okay, so the last line of the blurb says, filled with carriages, candlesticks, and corpses, Angelica Frankenstein makes her match is the spooky season reimagining of the well-known classic by Mary Shelley that reminds us never to man <laughs> never to judge a man by his cadaver. Hello, I believe that like our main girl is gonna like fall in love with her like creation, monster, whatever, whatever it is. I'm so into it, so literally thank you so much to Harper Collins for sending these to me. Wow, never thought I'd be saying those words, but that it's just wild that they actually oh 
I'm just so thankful. So I have big plans for these books, honestly. I'm thinking, here's a little like sneak peek into something I'm thinking about filming in October. I'm going to do, what well, I think I'm gonna do, like a spooky romance readathon type thing because I have another book kind of in like the, the spooky genre that is like classified as romance and i just think reading all three of those in like a 24-hour readathon would be so fun so i really hope um i do that because these just like yes <laughs> i really don't have any other words so that is amazing i guess it's time to wrap up the vlog yeah so as for what i read last night actually i finished up cemetery boys and i had to give it a five out of five stars it was so good I, I literally just loved this book so much. I loved learning about all of the Latin traditions surrounding Dia de Muertos. I love the conversations surrounding our main character Yadriel being trans. I think it's so important to put messages like that in YA books like this, so I love seeing it. And then also like this little romance was so cute. I was like, oh, young love. I love them. So had to give it a five stars. Literally, I was so sad when I finished it last night. It was like one in the morning and I was like, I'm in my feels now um because they're so cute i loved julian i loved yadriel i loved maritza everybody was great it was just such a good read it was so good for the fall and i'm so glad that i just randomly picked this up from the library one day definitely we'll have to check out some more stuff from aiden thomas because also the writing was just so fun and the story was just so fun i thought it was really well paced and i am now like read this book everybody should read this book it's great so yes they're cemetery boys. I also finished The X Hex, which I've talked a lot about. You already know, got a five out of five stars. Wow, two five star reads. Amazing. Um, then I also finished Death Note. It happened. <laughs> and then I finished Creepy Cat, which it was good. I, I always enjoy Creepy Cat, and I'm really excited to pick up the third volume, which I found at the library recently. So definitely gonna be reading that sometime this season. That'll be perfect so i just had such a good time starting my fall reading going you know outside for some walks seeing the leaves change i'm still super excited about the fact that the leaves are starting to change and it's spooky season so i'm like at full power right now it's also like the anticipation of like getting the tendrils of fall but we're not quite there yet and it's so good if it could just like drop 20 degrees then it would be like peak but it'll happen it'll happen so um, I really hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. If you do, please do let me know down below. A, have you read any of the books that I read here? B, let me know if you guys have started on your fall spooky season reading. I'd love to know. I'd love to know what you guys are reading. I literally have so many reading plans for fall, but I'm always down to add a few more. So <laughs> yes, let me know. So I guess that is it. And I will catch you guys in my next one.